In this video, we're going to look at using SlideShare and then taking that video and embedding it into our WordPress blog. The first thing we're going to need to do is to sign up for SlideShare. SlideShare is a community of users that share presentations, primarily PowerPoint presentations. To do this, you need to go to slideshare.net. And once you're there, you can click on the sign up button. It'll take you to a screen where it'll ask for your information. Now I've already registered for SlideShare so I'm actually just going to go to log in. Now th from here it'll show you a news feed of different presentations that have been uploaded and everything that's going on inside of SlideShare. You can also post comments, add favorites, a whole variety of things in this community of presentations. But what we want to do is we want to share a presentation or upload one to the community. We want to go to the upload button here at the top. And from here you can choose to upload videos one at a time or several at a single time. You'll also see there's this blue upload button and if you look off to the side it has some information here about that but that is for pro users. Since we're only using a free account we're actually going to go with the orange upload button. Click on that and then we're going to locate the slides that we're going to use. and I'm going to hit open. Now from here I can change the title and it should try to identify the title based off the, the file name of your PowerPoint. You can also add tags to help identify the type of uh, content that is in your PowerPoint. And this particular PowerPoint is covering the screen capturing application Gene, which is by TechSmith Technology. And it's for screen capture. I can also choose a category in which this would best be represented. And I think I'll go with technology. Then I can also provide a quick description of this PowerPoint. Then you can choose whether or not you want other people to be able to download this file. And I'm going to go ahead and let it be able to download. There's nothing too tremendously uh, important about this file. Now once you've pressed the save button, it takes us to this screen, which is where other users can eventually go to to view the slides of your PowerPoint. It'll also give you the option to maximize this PowerPoint so that they can see it full screen. Buttons to go through each of the slides. Now if I want to use this on my WordPress blog, I'm going to need to go over here to where it says embed. And it gives us a special code which we can use to embed this into our blog. So all I have to do is click in here select all of it, right click and do copy. Now we'll need to go to our WordPress blog. I've already logged into the dashboard and from here I'm going to go to posts and add new posts. In the post area I'm going to type my title and then in the visual editor I can even type some content. Now 
Now that I have my content, I want to add the slide share presentation itself. Now remember we copied the embed code. To place it into our WordPress blog, we need to change the view of how we see this text editor. You'll notice that right now I'm looking at it in the visual tab. So anything that I type in here, visually, this is how it's going to display. If I were to do any one of these commands, such as making something bold or italicized. However, there's also a text mode. A text mode is the actual coding mode. And that little piece of embed information that we copied is actually a code that browsers translate in order to display content. So for us to embed the slide share, we need to go to where it says text. And you'll notice that sometimes you'll see some funny characters. Ignore all these characters. They are part of the programming language, HTML, that browsers use in order to decipher code. S once you're in the text tab mode, just key return down underneath all the content that's already there. And from here, we can right click and paste our embed code that we copied from the slide share site. If I go back to the visual editor, we'll now see a sort of placeholder for our slide share slideshow. Again, Whenever you're creating a post, make sure to choose a category, and then lastly, publish your post. Now on our post page, we'll be able to see the slide share presentation that we uploaded, and we can go through it just the same as we could on SlideShare. And you'll notice it'll even present us with the information underneath it saying the title of the SlideShare and what SlideShare user uploaded this. And that is adding a SlideShare presentation to your WordPress blog.